We are Memory Keepers focuses on crafting tools. Um, and we have a lot of great innovation. So let's jump in. Uh, first of all, one of our best-selling product lines, the Cinch, it's a bookbinding tool. Um, it's been a bestseller for us for over 10 years, so it has a lot of longevity. And we've had, added some innovation over the years, but I'm really excited about this latest version of the Cinch. It's called the Multi-Cinch. Here it is right here. Um, and this allows you to, with these different cartridges, I have them over here as well, um, to bind in all sorts of different ways. So, you know, we have our traditional binding. We also have Coptic binding, we have spiral binding, disc binding, band binding, all sorts of different things, very color coordinated. So you just take your multi cinch right here. And you're gonna take whatever um, cartridge you want. So today let's go ahead and use this one. Uh, this is actually a heart shaped um, binding. And we're just going to click that in. Just that easy. We're going to go ahead and take our paper here. So you can make, uh, you know, this is a smaller sized tool, but it still allows you to make any book size that you want. So even though the tool is smaller, um, the output has not changed. So we're going to go ahead and take our alignment guide. We're going to go ahead and uh, put that in. So on the cartridge, each cartridge has a nice little silk screen. Um, that shows exactly uh, where to place the paper and the alignment guide. So it's all, all right there, printed on the tool, very easy to use. So then I'm going to take my paper. Um, if I wanted a thicker book, I would just do, you know, multiple punches, but you're going to be able to punch, you know, 20 sheets at a time or so. I'm going to go ahead and put this into the tool, and I'm going to press down on the handle. And there we have our our shapes right there, you can see punched out their little uh, hearts in this instance. And then we're just going to go ahead and move it along the tool. And there's actually this little alignment hole right here. So that's actually going to come down and insert into the second to last hole. So we know exactly where to align it. I'm gonna punch again and repeat that process one more time. There we go. Okay, so we have our holes punched. Then we're gonna take our binding. This is actually gonna sit nicely on the side of the tool right here, which allows us to very easily thread our paper on, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and use the other side of the cinch. If you're familiar with our other cinch tools, this is going to be very similar. And we're just going to push the binding down just like that. And there we go. We have our perfectly bound cinch notebook. So again, though, if I wanted to, you know, do something else, let's say I wanted to do a Coptic style, I'm just going to pop this out. I'm going to take my Coptic insert and I'm going to push that right in. So, um, so much variety, uh, so easy to use. We're really excited about the innovation that we've added to this to this tool. Any questions on the multi-cinch? All right, well then I'm just gonna keep going. If you have any questions, um, I think Mike is the moderator. He'll uh, pass them on to me. Um, if you think of a question later on, we can always return back to something that I've already demoed. All right, I'm really excited about this next one. This is our sticky folio. Um, I have kind of a visual here. So first of all, this is, um, uh, as I've been showing this around, people are just like, oh, it's it's so obvious. It's such a like simple idea. And yet it's such, such a, a time saver. It's so easy, it's mess-free. Um, it really is the, the easiest way to add full coverage adhesive under the back of pretty much anything. So, you know, anything that you want to kind of turn into a sticker or adhere to anything else. So it's very stylish as well. It's one thing I love about it. Um, and portable, just as this nice little notebook. I'm gonna open it up, has everything inside. So it has these uh, this pocket for our adhesive sheets. And we have, you know, of course our adhesive sheet refill sold separately. 
Uh, we also have, as you can see here, all sorts of fun colors and designs to pick from. But let me show you how it works. So first of all, you're gonna take your adhesive sheet and you're just going to place it in here, pop that down, that's gonna secure it in place, okay? Each adhesive sheet has a liner. So we're gonna peel that up and then you can see the micro dot adhesive on here. Now, one thing, one um, innovation we've added is we actually colored the micro dots slightly. So you can kind of see that. I'm not sure if the camera's really picking it up, but they're a very light gray color. I, I don't know if it is, it's very subtle, but in person you can definitely see it. And that allows you to see exactly on your sheet where your adhesive is. So anyway, we're going to take some of these embellishments that we have. And again, it's gonna work perfect on just, you know, your uh, paper ephemera. So I can take this and you can put it right on here, fold this down. And then I have this little tool and notice again, I have a pocket for it. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that adhesive. Peel this up. I can use my tweezers if I want to, uh, to grab it off my sheet and apply it. I can use this to, to press it on there. Um, it's going to be a permanent strong adhesive. And there we go. I, I have full coverage adhesive just that easy. But again, and I know the camera's not really picking this up, but uh, you can see exactly where I use that adhesive. So there's no waste. So I can come in and I can use every part of this. It's also going to work great on, you know, dimensional things. So if I have like a piece of wood, a button, ribbon, it's going to work great on large things, on small things. Um, decorative, you know, kind of lacy things, that's kind of hard. You know, if you were to try to run a tape runner over this, it's gonna be um, a lot of effort and you're gonna get lots of, you know, it might rip your paper or whatever. So you can see uh, just the, the variety and how easy it is to use. And then when you're done, just put that sheet on there. Your tool is gonna fit nicely in this pocket. It's gonna close up. You have this elastic band and you can take it with you wherever you wanna go. So that is our sticky folio. All right. Any questions on our sticky folio? Okay, we'll move on. Okay, next up we have our vinyl print press. This is a tool, here, let me show it to you right here, that uh, combines a couple different things. Um, it's for silk screening for sure, um, but it combines the ease of vinyl application as well. Um, it's kind of the best of both worlds. So there's pros and cons to both vinyl application and silk screening. And, and this is a very common, two common ways that people would make custom, you know, t-shirts or tote bags or whatever. Um, so vinyl application, um, first of all, it it's really, you know, it, it's for single you know, it, it doesn't replicate, right? So you'd have to cut out the vinyl, you iron it onto your t-shirt or whatever, and then you would need to repeat the process. You'd have to cut the vinyl out again. You'd have to weed it. Vinyl also doesn't last very well on t-shirts. Um, it can tend to peel off or crack. So then silk screen um, is a great alternative to that. It's going to allow you for that repeat application. So once you've made your, your frame or whatever, then you can use it to you know, create dozens of t-shirts or tote bags or posters or cards, whatever it is that you're making. Um, so, so this combines kind of the best of both worlds because with silk screening, kind of the hindrance there is that it's hard to create those frames. You have to have certain um, equipment. You have to have the right film to print on. You have to have a special light to, uh, to emulsify and, and create the screen. So this makes it so much easier because you actually use vinyl. So, and that's how they kind of combine. So you cut out your vinyl. So here I've, I've cut out a design right here. Uh, you are going to iron it on. So just like you would a t-shirt, but you're ironing it onto our silk screen frame right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and just put it onto our frame. So you can see these holes and the pegs on the frame and that's gonna keep it securely in place. The tool opens up, it has some nice storage. So we have our ink here, we have our squeegee. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna print this t-shirt today. So let me turn this around and get situated. I'm gonna put this, uh, you know, I can put it wherever I want, depending on where the placement 
Um, and we actually have some accessory tools, uh, one that is a t-shirt guide, so it really helps you get like centered in the right spot. But we're just gonna kind of eyeball it today. We'll kind of do it in the upper corner of the shirt. I'm gonna do this uh, little sunrise design right here. So I'm just gonna take my ink and I'm just gonna go ahead and do a line of ink right there. Take my squeegee and we'll go ahead and squeegee it down just like that. Can actually uh, hold my squeegee right there. And there we go. We have our t shirt all printed. I have some other examples. I have this tote bag that we made. Um, you can see the, the great quality, the even clean lines that it creates. Um, and then now I could put another t-shirt in, I could keep going, I could switch up my color. Um, so again, lots of versatility and lots of fun things. Any questions on that? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Got our t-shirt. I think it's a little small for me, but, uh, all right. Okay, any questions? All right, well, I will move along. Okay. All right, this is our uh, paper tray, um, stackable paper tray. It's gonna be perfect for your 12 by 12 paper, um, or even, uh, you know, often open stock paper is almost 12 by 12 and a half, whatever. So it's gonna fit that just fine. It actually comes, flat like this and it's a four pack so you're going to get uh, four trays um, and so there is just a tiny bit of assembly these are going to pop off and they're going to screw into these little holes right here and i have the other ones assembled this is just going to then snap into the one below it so here we have our four pack of trays. As you can see, there's kind of these holes in it. It's kind of aerated. So um, one thing that's really popular, uh, people are selling them on Etsy are kind of drying trays as well. Um, it's great for clay. It's great for like watercolor, mixed media. Um, so this also doubles as kind of a drying rack. Um, so you could put any of your projects on there. And because of the aerated holes, you're gonna get all that airflow and allow it to, uh, to dry perfectly. So anyway, double purpose there. All right. Yeah. Before we move on, can you um, speak to the drying time on the uh, silk screen? Yeah, so it probably takes, um, I, I would estimate about half an hour to an hour to, to dry. And then once it is dry, you wanna iron it to kind of heat set it. And then you can wash it wear it, wash it again, you know, whatever. It should be good to go from there, so. All right. Okay, so next up we have our rotating precision press. This is a, a stamping platform similar to other, our other precision press tools um, that you may be familiar with. Um, but what's cool about this one is it has this magnetic dial that allows you to rotate your paper around in even increments and create circular patterns. Um, you can create them in pretty much any size, small, you know, like four by four sizes up to, you know, 12 by 12, anything in between um, and at different increments. So it gives you complete freedom and control over what you're trying to stamp. So I have one started here. And I've just, uh, you know, I took some stamps. I kind of put them on the platform. There's these guidelines so you know exactly where to place them depending on the size that you're going for. And then I need to do two more impressions to complete my circular pattern here. So let me get my ink. I've got my stamp. Press it down. All right, there we go. And then I'm just gonna rotate this one more time. 
And uh, there we go. I'm, I'm following this 30 degree. There's a, a guide on here, so it makes it really easy. So I'm just going to ink up this one more time and get my final impression. There we go. And you can see this really nice design that I created. So obviously here I'm using kind of some floral designs. A lot of these samples that I have are, are similar and that's great. You know, it's great for kind of creating these wreaths. Um, this one's a butterfly, but you know, you could do it with any stamp. So I could take the word happy birthday and I, I could then rotate it around and make a nice like circle um, of that word or whatever I want to do. So it gives complete freedom. Uh, this uh, dial is really cool. It's again, just magnetizes your paper and then allows you to return it, turn it in any increment. All right. Any questions on that? Must be doing a good job demoing. I mean, I guess nobody has questions. That's awesome. Okay. A uh, couple more things. Or actually, I think this might be our last one. This is our creative flow glue gun right here. It's a nice, uh, nice slick looking tool. Um, so obviously it's going to function as a glue gun and it's great for that. Um, but it also, um, because of the creative flow nature of it, it, it has this button. Um, so instead of like a normal glue gun where you have that trigger, um, usually what happens is, you know, you push the trigger, a bunch of glue comes out followed by kind of a, a tapered line. Um, this one allows for a really steady stream of glue, uh, which then um, makes it perfect for kind of more creative projects. And, and we see a lot of people doing creative things with glue guns. So it's the perfect tool for that. It's also a great tool for anybody with uh, maybe, you know, arthritis or hand problems where that trigger is going to start to, um, you know, hurt their hand. So this one really is no pressure at all. You just push the button. So here's here's an example of kind of like an art project that was created. So they took some, uh, they, they glued, you know, created this flower design on this canvas, then they painted on top of it. Um, but, you know, making cards, scrapbook layouts. Um, we have some accessories too, obviously colored glue sticks. So here we have, uh, you know, all these metallic colors. We have different glitter packs and colored packs. Um, this is a nice item too. This is just our clear silicone mat, but there are free downloadable templates that you can print out um, that then you can take your glue gun and you can, you know, use this as a template. So again, let me uh, let me get like a piece of paper, maybe a colored piece of paper, and I'll just show you. Perfect. Just again, yeah, you can see the nice, like, creative freedom I have with that. And you can kind of hear it. It makes, like, a little motorized sound. But I can just keep pushing that button and keep getting, like, a perfect line of glue the entire time. So anyway, I love this, love this tool. It's a great one. All right. Well, that's all I had. I know Shannon has some great things to uh, talk to you about, and then um, maybe we'll even end a little early. So before I go, is there any other questions that anybody had? Is it battery operated or rechargeable? It's rechargeable. Yep. USB rechargeable. Good question. Okay. Thanks everybody. Okay, now we are going to change over. We'd like to thank Tavner for all the things that he has developed and for presenting to us today. Thank you very much. And now we are going to, going to switch over to Shannon, who is going to show us a few more things. While she is changing over, does anyone have any questions? Shannon is the brilliant creator of all the samples that you see. Her, she and her team that you see on our packaging and in our videos. So we really appreciate uh, her, her 
unique talents as well. If you put something in their hands, it's going to come out beautifully. So thanks for being with us today. We appreciate it. And are you ready to go? Ready to turn the time so. over to you? Thanks, Mike. All right, I get to show you seven new American Crafts paper collections and one other new addition to the Color Pour Resin program. So I'm going to jump right in because it's a lot to cover in a half an hour. So the very first collection I'm going to show you is the newest Vicki Booten collection. And it's called the Where To Next. There's a lot in this collection. So I'm just gonna spread everything out here so I can show you a few things. <clears throat> okay, see, look, just so many good things in here. All right. I always like to start showing a paper collection by showing the paper because I really feel like it gives you a good overview of kind of the theme and the colors that are going on in the collection. So Vicki's newest collection, Where To Next, she really wanted to get everyone excited that we can all travel again and be out in the world exploring again post-COVID. All, all of those fun, exciting travels are now back. So hers is very travel themed. You can see there's some fun travel icons. Also her great florals, these monochromatic B sides to the papers, which we always love on the design team. Just do a quick flip through of the papers. So these are the open stock papers. This one's really fun. Let me show you that one a little better. So it's like a torn with the plane. You can see all those bright, happy colors thrown in with some blacks and some neutrals that Vicki is so known for. She also has the 12 by 12. Are there any special things on that? On the open stock paper, there's not, but there are some on other parts of it. So the this this paper is the specialty paper. So this is gold foil on printed vellum. Sorry, it's in the packaging, so I know it's going to get a glare. But there is a gold foil on there, and you will see that gold foil carry through some of the other products as well. So the open stock papers don't have a finish. I don't believe the 12 by 12 paper pad does either, nope. But what makes this paper pad unique is as I'm flipping through it, you might notice there are page paper, unique papers in here that are not part of the open stock paper. So it, as a customer, it's really fun to have the open stock papers plus the paper pads because they do have unique papers in them. This is the six by eight. Vicky's also, her paper pads are double-sided, which is unique to Vicky Booten collections. So you're getting so much value out of these paper pads. Everything's double-sided. She always includes a new six by eight album. This one is really fun. They all coordinate with each other. So you can use the inserts that come in here. I love that you can just add a six by eight paper. They fit inside the albums perfectly. And another new exciting thing is that there are now refill sheet protectors that fit in these Vicki Booten albums. We're really excited about that. So you can add even more and more pages to it. She's got multiple ephemera packs. So we've got the two pack embellishments. One is more, let me see if I can get that where you can see it, more tags and journaling themed. And then the other is more icons and for layering and embellishing in that way. We also have these amazing papery packs, which if you haven't gotten one of these in your hands, you really should try one because there's so many pieces in here. There's 200 pieces. The paper's a little bit thinner, but they're so beautiful. There's a mix of different types of papers. There's vellums and cardstocks and different washi stickers and things that you can use. These are so fun to embellish with. She's got her alpha thickers, which have that gold foil on chipboard. And then we have also chipboard thickers that are sentiments and tags and icons, and then her six by 12 stickers as well. Some of the, so the things that we're used to seeing, right? Washi tape, uh, a sticker pad, her new two sets of stencils that are travel themed. These are gonna be really hard to see on camera. I don't know if you can get that Haley up close. Let me see if I can angle it. So they're travel themed and then just basic everyday things. There's also a really great floral, suns, 
Right. So I love working with Vicky's with mi mixed media. Another mixed media product in this collection is a cosmic watercolor set. So these are really metallic, shiny, awesome watercolor paints that work so good on black papers. So you can use them on white and black papers, but they look really great on black. There's two stamp sets Vicki is known for, mini puffy stickers. And then these are some new items too that are new to this collection. So she's known for doing really chunky chipboard shapes. So this is a big box of chunky chipboard, but it's got these great, awesome, huge titles in it. And this is thick chipboard. It's tags, shapes. It's a really fun mix of a lot of different things. Another new product are these die cut frames. So this is a whole box of die cut frames. And I've pulled out a few. These are thick. They're like a, they're thicker than, um, cardstock and not as thick as these. So they're kind of an in-between thinner chipboard die cut frame. So there's just like so many to choose from that you could use in albums and in memory keeping. She also has these, this little pack, this is new of die cut paper clips. So these are kind of tiny. Let me see if I can put them where you can see. So there's a mix of different materials, cardstock, these are plastic, acrylic, different types of little clips that you can add into your travel journals. Okay, any questions about Vicki Boot and where to next? All of these collections have so much in them that I have to switch stuff around really quick. So sorry I disappear for a moment. Okay, we'll just move on. This next collection I'm going to show you is Maggie Holmes' newest collection, and it's called Woodland Grove. There's some fun new things in here. We always love Maggie's collections. They're just so fun to play with. Okay, once again, I'm going to start with the paper. So the theme of this paper pack, the inspiration for it was a magical menagerie. So combining more exotic animals, like we've got a leopard and a zebra with Maggie's traditional florals and woodland settings. So we've got some fun new animals in here that we haven't seen before from Maggie. There's peacocks, the leopard is super fun. And I'll flip through these papers so you can see kind of a feel of the color scheme and what's going on here. So lots of florals. Everyone who loves Maggie loves her florals, but it's thrown in with a mix of some new, fun, more fairy tale. You may not see these animals in the woods, but it would be really cool if you did, right? Kind of just a fun, playful spin on it. Okay, so those are the open stock papers. She also has the 12 by 12 paper pad. This one is single sided. And then you have the six by eight paper pad. And this one does have gold foil in the six by eight. You can kind of see that shine there. Okay, so you've got some specialty papers included in there. The specialty paper for this collection is foil on pearl paper. So this has a beautiful floral foil. You can kind of see that shine that you're getting there. And then the paper itself is pearlescent. So it's a nice creamy pearl. Okay, some new things and some things we've seen before. So a beautiful set of box cards, uh, these tag books, um, Maggie has been including in her collections recently, and this one is another great one. So these can be used for journaling, for inserts, for layering, ephemera on. There's a really great collection. And these also have that gold foil finish on some of them. We've got a beautiful set of washi tape. Again, our favorites, the papery packs, 200 pieces to layer and embellish with. In addition to that, we also have two ephemera packs. One is very floral. So this one you can kind of see has a ton of the florals in it. And this one has more journaling cards, some of those fun exotic animals and some more icons to use. A beautiful stamp set, lots of florals, mini puffy hearts. And this is double-sided. So you're getting more than just the front. There's a good value there. 
Some new items that she has included in this are these fun little bow clips. So these are velvet bows on a gold clip. And you get a set of four. They're really fun and cute to use. Another new embellishment are these, let me just pull this out, these pins. So these are gold pins. Let me hold that up there so you can see it. And they have little pearls on them. They're quite heavy. They're a metal pin. And then they have this little cap so you can pull it off, stick it through your card or your layout and add this fun little pick as an embellishment. She also has another new item, which is a shaker frame kit. So this little kit comes with a bunch of different frames and these frames have an acrylic in there. I don't know if you can kind of see, but you can see that they have that front and then the backs have adhesive on them. And then the kit comes with these fun little sequins. So you can basically sprinkle down some sequins, put your frame down, Take the backer off, of course, and seal those sequins in there and you have an instant little shaker card. You can put those on cards, layouts, mini albums. So super fun and excited to use that. The stationary kits that Maggie has included in her previous few collections. This one has a lot more mixed media in there. So we've got these fun little, little pieces that are acetate, little tags. There's some crepe paper in there, crepe paper fringe that you can add along with all of the fun little stationary pieces that are we were used to seeing with the envelopes and different types of pullouts and tags and frames. It's a really fun little collection. I like the addition of the new materials in there. This is a really great alpha thicker set. So this actually has a full alpha in gold and in this like pearlescent white. So you get basically two thicker alphas for one in this one with two finishes. It's really great. And then we've got our six by 12 stickers, our thickers, a stamp set. This stamp set does have a coordinating die for every single stamp. So you can just stamp it and die cut it right out that quick her sticker book, layered stickers. These have a lot of fun new materials in them as well. And they're layered with dimension. And then something that's new that we are trying is a new way to do our chipboard stickers. And these have now been, Maggie's one of the first ones to try it, is they are foam stickers. So they're a thicker foam, about as thick as our chipboard stickers were, but they stay on their sheet better, they adhere better, and you still get that nice chunky dimension but we are just trying this out to see how we like these better. So, and I love them because they just adhere, they stay nice, they're a little bit pliable and they work really great. Okay, any questions about Maggie Holmes, Woodland Grove? All right, we have a second crepe paper style collection. This is a crepe paper gingham garden collection. This collection is super soft and feels of like a really, like a breath of fresh air is how it was described to me, that there was just, you know, just some fun, soft pastels in this collection that are really beautiful to work with for spring. So let me flip through. So this one, I don't have the open stock papers for yet, but I can show you the 12 by 12 paper pad. So you can see this beautiful, soft color palette. So we've got lots of mint, peaches, really soft pinks, soft blues, kind of a feel, some florals, that gingham, watercolor feel to it. The specialty paper for this collection is foil on vellum. So this is actually a cream vellum, which I haven't seen very often. And it's really beautiful with that gold foil floral in the corner. There's also a six by eight pad. And this one does have foil finishes in it. It's kind of like a coppery gold it's an, it's an in-between copper and gold foil finish. Let me find this one so you can kind of see that color there. Okay, so it's, it's gold, but it's kind of a little bit more bronzy than a traditional yellow gold. It feels really good with these soft colors. 
And those have those foil finishes in there. A new item that we have. So we always have these beautiful washi tapes. My washi tapes are askew in my box, but I wanted to show you this one. This is a new washi tape that has individual washi floral stickers. So they come on a roll right here, but they come off in little individual stickers. So that's a really fun new type of washi tape. We've got beautiful stamp set, lots of florals, a really fun monochromatic, like a soft rainbow puffy sticker. We've got our embellishment pack, even more little enamel dot puffy stickers, our papery pack, again, love these sticker books. A lot of the things we're used to seeing, but these soft colors are just so pretty. Like I love this rainbow and pastels right there. Another new thing is these six by 12 stickers for this collection are actually clear stickers. So these are a matte clear sticker for the six by 12. So they're really fun to use in planners and on other projects. They're fun for layering when you have some clear stickers to work with. The thickers are on foam and it is a cardstock wood grain on a green mint foam. So I don't know if you can really see that, but there's a green mint foam underneath. Really soft and pretty. We have our foam thickers, a set of stencils. This is new to this collection that is really great for using in card making. There's lots of borders and icons, so you can use ink or paint or mixed media through those to increase, increase the mixed media presence on your projects. The stationary pack in this one also, just like the one we talked about before, has some new materials in it. So this is a really great stationary pack, but it has like full cards. We've got little sacks, even a little cloth sachet with a little white flower on it. So pretty. There's some new fun things like this one snaps shut. So there's a lot of fun new different types of materials in the stationary pack. This collection also includes a mini alpha set, stamp set, which I really love these. So I was really excited to see this coming out and an embellishments kit. So this one has sequins, buttons, and gold ephemera. Also has boxed cards. Any questions on that one? Okay, we're all used to collections, right? It's just fun to see the new things that are coming in. Okay, now we are going to jump over to Paige Evans. So Paige is always known for her bright, happy color schemes and this Blooming Wild is her newest collection and it is no different. It is bright and happy, feels like summer to me, which I'm really looking forward to actually. So here are Utah winters are pretty cold. I just organize myself here a little bit. All right, this one as well, I don't have the open stock papers to show you today. We don't quite have them in our office yet, but I can flip through the 12 by 12 paper pad. So you can see this has florals that Paige is known for, these bright colors, happy rainbows, gradients, the quilt patterns, just giving you a little peek here. Love some of those stripes. There's some fun cut apart pages in this paper pad. Just so many fun patterns to work with. We've got a mix of kind of a watercolor feel, rainbows, happiness just in this pad and florals. The specialty paper for this collection is printed acetate. So this is actually a clear acetate piece with the florals printed on there. And then there's also an iridescent foil on that as well. You can kind of catch that on the leaves. We have our chipboard thickers. These are the chipboard ones, not unlike the foam ones that Maggie is doing, but these have also that iridescent foil, lots of fun colors to work with that match the collection. Oh, I forgot to show you the six by eight paper pad. So this one has that iridescent foil as well treatment on some of the pages. So you can kind of see it there on that cut apart. That pink one had it, that one's really fun. Okay, so it's just a little specialty touch there on the six by eight. 
We have our boxed card set, which is always super fun to work with. Each collection has that. As we've come to expect from our collections too, we have a super fun thicker set. I love the colors on this one. Can't wait to work with that one. I haven't had a chance to work with this collection yet and I'm really excited to. So also these are puffy sticker thickers. And I love that these are all in different colors as well because you can mix and match these letters to write other things if you want to. They're super fun and easy to work with. Six by 12 stickers have the iridescent foil on them as well. We have some embellishment packs. So this embellishment pack is all tags, labels, and tags. So you can kind of see in there that there's all these fun things you can add and layer to your projects. Then we have an embellishment pack that is icons. So these have all the icons and the cut shapes. So many fun pieces to work with in there. We also have a third embellishment pack and that one is all florals. Everyone who loves Paige loves her florals and this is a full pack just of florals. More florals on the sticky puffy stickers. You have a sticker book that has that iridescent foil in there. So fun to work with. Lots of smaller pieces for card making. This is a new item to this collection, which are chipboard frames. So these are fun little frames that you can layer up with all of the different florals and things, take them apart. Each of these is individual, so you can separate them from each other and use them on your projects. We have a washi tape, some really tiny, cute little floral charms, and then three new SKUs to this to, for Paige are some milk bottle caps. So these are thicker chipboard pieces in little circles like milk caps. So these are really fun for layering on your projects. And some of them have icons, some have words, some have florals, different things like that. So there's a whole box of those. And then there's collage tiles, which are very similar, but they are square shapes. So they're kind of like these milk caps, but they are more square. A lot of Paige's layouts are inspired by her, her little square pieces that she layers together like a quilt. The last thing that's really fun to show you is this embellishment kit that is an alphabet. And if people who follow Paige, they know that she likes to layer her letters like this. So we've done it for you. So you don't have to cut out each little thing and layer the back piece, right? This is a full alphabet that has a top border layer and then different bottom pattern, pattern papers from the collection that you can pair together to make large layered titles. Awesome. Okay. That's it for, for Blooming Wild. They just keep coming. There's <laughs> more and more paper to work with, which I am originally a paper crafter. I do lots of things now, but the paper always just makes me happy. So this is Jen Hadfield's newest collection. Let me spread it out a little bit so I can grab from it. This collection is called Flower Child, and it's kind of a nostalgic nod to being a kid in the 70s and 80s. That's what it feels like to me. It's really got some fun wood grain patterns and some fun colors and icons that kind of are a throwback to the 70s. I'll start by showing you the pattern paper, the open stock paper. So you can see there are some of those icons. We've got those vintage technologies, roller skates, peace symbols, just fun 60s, 70s vibe that you'll feel through this whole collection. It's got these nice warm tones to it that feels so nice with the wood grain but it still has a, a bright uplift to the color scheme this collection has two different specialty foils so the 12 by 12 one has a copper foil to it i don't know if you can kind of see the shine there let me find a page that shows it a little more So there's that shiny copper thread running through there. Lots of fun papers in here that have that copper foil. And then the six by eight so pad has two. the iridescent foil. So two foil finishes to work with in this collection. So there's that star paper again. 
but it's got that silver holographic foil. The specialty paper has that foil on a really thin, nice, pliable pearl paper. So it's a really fun holographic feature. We've got a groovy Thickers alphabet, multiple colors, really feels good. It's a glossy, puffy sticker. And then you'll see throughout this a mix of those two foils. So there's that copper foil on that side of the Thickers, and then you've got the holographic on this side. Holographic silver. I love this icon with the peace symbol glasses. I think it's so fun. And Jen Hadfield is also trying the foam rather than chipboard stickers sheet. So these are all that thicker foam with adhesive backs and they just pop out and they have that extra thick dimension to them. Jen is also including one of those cute little tag books in her collection and this does have the foils in there. So you can see that copper foil there on that one. I think this one is all copper. So you've got this mix between the two. Yeah, that one's all copper. We've got a fun stamp set that has the fun roller skate and different florals that you can use. Two different ephemera packs. This one is florals only, and this one is icons and tags and journaling cards. So you've got a nice collection there to use. These are the sticker book. So you can see a mix of both foils treatments in that one as well. And these are embossed puffy stickers. So just some fun icons to also throw in. Second set of puffy stickers, lots of sheets of these little fun, tiny little puffy flowers. New to this collection for Jen is a tassel set. So these are tassels with little floral charms. These are fun to clip onto mini albums or to add into your layout design. She well, also has a stationary pack, pack that has, that a, has lot a lot of the fun elements in it. Elements so, in it. We've so we've got the vellum, the vellum we've, got we've got pockets, pockets. and this, and this also, also has, has a mix of the two foils, foils in it. So this, so this one's the holographic, this one's copper. And, and then Jen, Jen also, also has one of those floral, floral individual, individual washies. washies. So you can, so you can pull it off as a whole roll, but then, but then you have an individual washi sticker. All right, any questions, any questions about, about Flower Child? Okay. Next, I will show you the newest collection from Bow Bunny, which is called Brighton. This collection was kind of inspired by the Netflix series Bridgerton, and I almost always try to call it Bridgerton, but it's Brighton, not Bridgerton. But I love everything about this collection. Even the packaging is so pretty. So it's got this romantic aesthetic, kind of a Regency feel to it. Um, some different things from the Regency period were taken as inspiration for this collection, which I will show you the open stock papers for first. Ooh, these are slippery ones. Okay, so you'll see these are romantic, feels like old wallpaper and old fabric from the Regency period. Very historical feel to it, but it's still romantic and soft and pretty. You'll notice a lot of different colors in this. Um, in the Regency period, the different families would have a, a color that was kind of their family color. And so there are color schemes in this collection that kind of feel that same way. So you'll see that as we walk through it. The 12 by 12 paper pad has a gold foil finish. So you can see it there on some of those papers. Adds a nice little touch to the paper. The specialty paper is foil on printed acetate. So this are these are little foil frames that you could cut apart or you could open them up. You don't even need to cut them out in the center because they're on acetate. You can just put something behind them and it would show through. So that'd be a fun way to do a little family. Okay. And then we have these 
the six by eight paper as well. I know I'm kind of running out of time, so I'm just gonna spread these out so you can kind of get a feel for this collection. I'll show you the new things. So this is a puffy sticker frame. You can see those color combinations there. So you've got navy, peach, green, pink, yellow, kind of those feels feel going on. These are clear floral stickers that are individual inside this pack. They're really beautiful and really fun. Got our ephemera packs. Bow Bunny is known for their embellishment packs that have brads and the fun things in them. This is a new product. So these are actually washi tags. So they're like larger pieces that are washi tape that can be layered onto projects. It's really fun packaging. And this is also new. So these are little layered stickers that are tabs, they're foam, so they have dimension to them. And this little kit is a super fun addition. It is a bling kit. So you've got this little box with all the different colors of gems, and then you have a wax tool and a, a tweezer so you can place those gems on your projects really easily. Okay, any questions about that one? All right. I'm just going to leave that there. We have one more collection and the AC resin. So I'm going to go real quick through this one. This is Heidi Swap's newest collection. It's called Set Sail. And it is a nautical, like, day on the lake, your boat, just enjoying and relaxing and being peaceful. So it's got these soft blue tones and some peaches in there. The specialty paper is a clear acetate. It's kind of hard to see it, but there's little sailboats on there. You've got your 12 by 12 pad, a six by eight pad. And then the things we have come to expect. So we have our word strip stickers. Um, we have some new ephemera packs. So we've got our traditional icons and tags, which are common. Then we also have some label stickers that are new. And these also mini little dot stickers. So these are in different shapes. So you could build banners out of those or do different things with them. A set of six by 12 stickers, a really pretty ombre thicker set. And then we've seen these mini, these blank books for Heidi, but she has come out with a set so it has two sets of these full size ones and one set that are these little mini size ones. So they're really cute and fun to work with. Another new product are these ledger tabs. So they're like a post-it note, but they can be used as a journaling square. And you'll see how soft these all are, right? Another new thing is a ribbon pack, which I'm so excited to use that. It's fun to have textures. And then these are a whole set of mini pockets and envelopes. So lots of fun embellishments to use in Heidi Swap's set sale. Okay, I, I rushed through that one a little bit. Does anyone have questions? I want to be able to get to the stone resin. Okay, so this is a new product from American Crafts under the color pour. And I'm just going to pull out a bunch of this stuff and show you. So this is a quick setting resin that's two parts. So you have a liquid and a powder. And you mix the powder into the liquid. And then your finished product are these beautiful stone-like resin finished products. So it feels like stone, sounds like stone, right? There's all different kinds of techniques you can do with them. You use them in molds just like you can do regular resin, but it sets in 25 minutes. And then you can waterproof them with this wax that we offer. And there's all different colorants and different things that you can add into the stone resin. It's a really fun, it's great for people who have allergies to regular resin, which I do, because this one is more natural. It's a more natural resin. It's less chemical smell to it and feel to it. So I don't have any problem with allergies to this one. It's a really fun program to work with. They dry in 25 minutes and you're ready to go. Any questions about that one? I know it was quick. Are there, kind of that you can put in there are. So there's 
three packs of different colorants. These are our samples, our factory samples, maybe you can kind of see. So there are liquid colorants that you can add. It takes a very little of it to get a nice pretty color, just a couple drops. And there, we also offer terrazzo flakes, which get this feel to it, right? You can also make your own terrazzo flakes using the spatula and mat. You just spread the stone resin out thin and then break it up once it's dry. So there's lots of fun things that you can do with it. It's really fun to work with. And how long does it take to set? So how this works is you just mix the two parts, stir it together really well, put it in the mold. And then after 20 minutes, you unmold it. And then you just, maybe those, we are drying racks would be perfect with this because you just set it on a drying rack. So it's getting airflow all the way around and it dries within an hour and then you can wax it. So it's a quick demold. Any, Any other questions? All right. All right. Well, thank well, thank you. you. I know it was quick, quick there, there at the end. end. Lots of fun, Lots things, of fun to things to show. We'd like to thank, thank Shannon you. for doing that for yeah, us and showing us all the all great, great things. things. There, there are, are a lot, lot of great, great things, things, things that you'll be you'll seeing see here shortly. shortly. Uh, we uh, look we forward, forward to, to uh, uh, being able to bring these out to the our our customers. If you have any questions, please let us know. I did record this, so I will try to send you a copy. So if someone missed it, they can at least. Um, have access to it. Thank you again, Shannon. Thank you for the people behind the scenes on the cameras as well. Thank you.